Council Member Lee are both here, as, as is myself, and that uh, Camille Kirk from UC Davis is here as well. That's the purpose of roll call so far. And then... Um, I'll send uh, it back to Tom. Yeah, yeah. Tom yeah. Uh, can, can get here when he gets here, but we have a quorum. So I will move to um, entertaining a motion to approve the agenda. Motion by Landsberg. I'll go ahead and second it. Seconded by Arnold. Uh, so moved by Landsberg, seconded by Arnold. Um, I will do a roll call vote. Um, uh, Commissioner Landsberg, how do you vote? Aye. Commissioner Lee? Brett? I'm not hearing Brett. No, he's, he's showing his unmuted, but I'm not not hearing him. I will accept uh, for purposes of voting, Brett, a camera thumbs up or a, or a digital thumbs up through the system. Any of those things? We're at the barest of quorum, so I do need uh, uh, everybody to be on board with this agenda. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just I just heard back from Tom. He's having difficulty logging in, um, so I asked him to make sure that he's using the correct meeting invite uh, for this meeting. So hopefully he can it? switch to the other one. You there, Brett? I can't hear anything Brett's saying if he is talking. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. I on saw his camera very quickly, but. I do not anymore. He's muting and unmuting. And if you want to tell Stop, Tom I'm resending the invite just to him, maybe that will help him. Ms. Stahl, are you sending it? I resent it just now. Okay, I'll, just I'll let him know. Yep. Hello. Brett? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, yes, there we I go. I hear you, Brett. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I had a purchased a new headset thinking I was doing myself a favor and instead I just gave myself uh, three minutes of uh, extra stress. <laughs> <laughs> so the motion uh, is uh, to approve the agenda. It was moved by Landsberg, seconded by me. Landsberg has voted yes. How do you vote, Brett? Uh, I vote aye. Good. Thank you. And I vote aye as well. So that is uh, um, three votes for an agenda. So uh, I'll move on to uh, the next item, which is general public comment. Do we have anyone here that appears that they wanna make public comment? We do not have any members of the public attending. Okay. And no emails received. Then I will close public comment and move us on to our main agenda, agency business. Uh, we'll begin with item one, uh, considering approval of CEQA uh, EIR addendum 11 to make findings concerning the option agreement for sale of water within the city of West Sacramento. Tim? Yeah, I can cover that real quickly. So uh, this is now addendum number 11 to the agency's EIR. We, we do need to do the EIR addendum for purchase, for purchase water. Essentially, we're taking water out of the river at a different time or outside of our normal water rights. So yeah, this is really the third nearly identical addendum in a row in the last three years to kind of cover these items. Um, so that this year addendum would be used by both the agency and the city of West Sacramento to meet our both our respective obligations. And um, with that, I can take any questions on it. It's a relatively simple, straightforward EIR addendum. Any questions from commissioners? Uh, hearing none. Um, I will entertain a motion to approve this item. Motion by Landsberg. Uh, I'll second it. Uh, any further discussion on this? I, it appears Tom is also entering. Yep. I'll give him just a moment to enter this discussion. And I'll catch him up. He's connecting. 
And he is co-host, so if he is able to get in, he should be able to um, participate. Hey, Tom, can you hear us? As he's connecting to audio, it's possible that that it asks you if you want to connect to computer audio and that that wasn't right. Connected. I'm going to close my door right now. <laughs> So uh, while Tom connects, um, any questions or discussion on this item? I don't hear any, so I'll call for the roll call vote. Um, uh, we'll start with Brett. How do you vote? You there, Brett? Yeah. And he's on mute right now. <laughs> Is chat enabled for this meeting? It might be useful to enable it so that he could perhaps chat his vote. Yeah. Are you That's looking possible. for me or were you looking it. for uh, Tom? Sorry, for you, Brett. Or, um, we have a motion and a second to approve item one. And so uh, if you don't have any questions or discussion on this, uh, I'm calling for a vote. So I'll call for your vote. I have lots of questions. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, aye. Thank okay. you. Okay. That's an aye from Brett. Uh, Rich? Aye. Uh, and I will vote aye as well. So that carries three votes. So that'll move us on to item two the option agreement itself. Yeah, so I'll discuss this in probably a little bit more detail than the EIR. Um, there are a few changes. This is now the third year in a row that we're working on a water purchase agreement with the city of West Sacramento uh, for a purchase of, of up to 2,000 acre feet of water. Uh, there are a few differences in the contract this time than there were in the past two. Uh, the reason for that is the city of West Sacramento has just renewed their water rights with the Bureau of Reclamation. <clears throat> So there are some changes in their contract with reclamation that are reflected into our contract. Overall, I think it's a, it's a very good deal and actually, and actually better for the agency than the past two have been, frankly. Um, one of the major changes is that the time of use uh, used to be November, December. Now we're allowed to use the water anywhere from November 1 through the end of February. So we have a larger window in which we can use the water. The, the, uh, West Arc Meadows contract with reclamation now is kind of a take or pay arrangement rather than prepay like it used to be. So in our contract, uh, we are not prepaying for half the water like we had been in the past. We are simply paying $10,000 to reserve the option to reserve the water for our use, plus, uh, plus expenses to uh, put the contract together, which is typical to the last two. And then it's a pay as you go for water that we actually use with an obligation to use half of what's available. The other thing that's a bit different this year compared with the other two years and may not be different going forward in, in subsequent agreements is that West Sacramento may not be able to guarantee 2,000 acre feet of water this year. The reason for that is, is they are in a 25% curtailment on their Bureau of Reclamation water right, their CVP water right. So they will tell us by November 1 or right around there how much water is actually available to the agency. It's going to be more than 1,000, but it may not be quite 2,000. They have to work that out on their own on how much water they need between now and end of February and how much they can make available to us. So our minimum purchase agreement by the contract is half of what's available rather than being set at 1,000 like it used to be in the past. Um, looking forward to water uh, needs this year. Uh, the term that anyone curtailment was ended on September, uh, September 28th. It was reimposed on us again, October 9th. I sent you guys all the note the other day on that. Um, kind of our view is that uh, there's not a reason for the, the state to end the term that anyone curtailment until there ends up being significant rainfall. 
uh, looking at short-term and long-term forecasts. Um, the long-term forecast, the 90-day forecast, is drier than normal and warmer than normal temperatures. So we could be, uh, it's looking very likely that we will be in term 91 curtailment going into November and possibly even beyond that this year. Um, it doesn't look favorable for using our primary water right at this point. So I think uh, from at least my perspective, and I think Stan's as well, this is something, this uh, water purchase agreement is something that we really need to do. Uh, we're about two and a half weeks out from not having access to our water at this point, and this agreement allows us to continue to, to deliver water to our customers. That I can take any, any questions on it. Uh, I should mention that West Sacramento will, will pick this up uh, at their meeting on, meeting on October 15th. So we're approving it about two days ahead of them, which is typical um, as to how we've done it the past two years. Uh, any questions for Tim? Camille? Hi, thanks. Um, so a couple of questions. The first question is, you mentioned this is actually a better deal, I'm assuming you mean financially, than in past years. Um, so, but we're paying 10,000 up front as sort of like finder's fee almost for getting the water and then a minimum of half of whatever is available. How exactly, again, is it that this is a better deal? I mean, I'm trusting sure. you, I'm just confused. We're, we're paying a bit less up front. So in the past okay. years, we paid we paid 50,000 up front plus cost to put the, the contract together. Okay. This year, we're paying 10,000 to basically reserve the water and then it's a pay as you go. Okay. Okay. So $40,000 differential, more or less. Uh, yeah, we, we do have an obligation to buy half of what's available, but if they only make a thousand available to us, we have an obligation to purchase 500, 500 acre feet, which would be, which would be a bit less. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention earlier that I should mention is the unit price did change from $50 per acre foot to 75. Okay. But That's a big it's job. not necessarily an increase. Um, in the past, we, we think the agency, we have to pay what the reclamation calls rescheduling fees. And that's for transferring water from West Sacramento up to our intake on the river about eight to 10 miles north. Um, and that's, I think in the low $22 an acre foot, I think it is. Um, in this contract, West Sacramento will be responsible for covering those rescheduling fees instead of us. And I think we actually paid it ourselves last time. So what we have to do in our accounting is make sure that we don't pay that in, instead of them this time around. So it's really about the same, the, the number is different, but it's really about the same total cost because we're, they're paying for it instead of us this time. Okay, okay. And then I had one more question, may I ask that too? Yeah. Go ahead. Um, so my other question to you is, um, it's three weeks out, well, almost three weeks out to November 1st, um, but but Term 91 got called on Friday. Do what? What is our interim solution for the next three weeks while we, we get are, through, get to this? Back, uh, yeah, we are back on our CVP water right through the end of October. Okay. So we have enough of that water right remaining. We do not have to have any kind of restrictions on the use of that water through the end of October. Okay. okay. Thanks. Uh, other questions? Brett? Yeah, so um, I, I think in the past we've kind of had this window of vulnerability in the January, February time frame, right? Where, or, and so I think the, the fact that this ability to get water from them kind of over an extended period is, is a big help, right? Yes. Yeah, that'd be correct. The previous agreements were only for November, December. So this one actually allows us to draw on this water through um, the beginning of the year as well. So it's it's a it's a, a benefit in that fashion as well. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Other questions from commissioners? Um, I'll just ask. Uh, Stan and Tim, uh, whether you think, you know, this is going to be sufficient for our needs or uh, if not, uh, what other um, uh, steps can we take or will we take? That's, that's, that is a good question. Um, hope, hopefully it's enough. It, it depends a bit on how much is actually available. If, if 2,000 acre feet is available, if we're running at minimum flows, we use about 21 acre feet per day. Um, so that gives us roughly nearly 100 days of water supply um, at minimum flows. Um, so it's something we're going to have to really look at 
very closely when we get closer to November 1, we get a better understanding of how much is actually available to us and what does the forecast look like at that time in terms of rainfall. Um, so there, there is still some risk that this may not quite be enough, uh, depending on how dry this winter ends up being. Uh, one thing I will say though is that Term 91 has never gone, I, should, I shouldn't say this a lot, but uh, it has only at one time gone for most of the winter months and that was 2013, 2014. Um, the rest of the years, it's gone, it's gone into November, December, sometimes January, February, um, not the entirety of the time, but portions of that time, in which case this should be enough, but it's something we're really going to have to um, plan for very carefully. And it's something we were talking about at the beginning of the meeting uh, is getting together at the end of this month and strategizing um, how, how conservative are we in using this water in, in November? Um, and how far do we think it needs to stretch out for us? Um, there, are, there are limited options available to us to buy additional water, um, including the like city of Sacramento, maybe some others, and we may need to start talking with them if we get, if we get more afraid of this being an extended curtailment um, as we get into November. Got it. Uh, and then what's our next step? Uh, should we, uh, I, I know at the previous meeting you had listed as several other options. Um, should we should this turn out not to be sufficient yeah yeah there are there are there are a limited number of um agencies that we can work with to try to pick up some additional water um if if this ends up not being sufficient and we can start having conversations with them now um and just to see what may what may be possible right and and the other the the other agencies that we mentioned at the last board meeting or in closed session was related to more of the longer term look um, and securing some additional rights um, to either augment or uh, honestly augment or even replace what we're doing with West Sac. Although I think I think this agreement with West Sac will turn out to be one of the one of the options we look at long term as well. But um, that's really what those other agencies were for is not necessarily on the spot, but Got it. securing for future. Camille, did you have a follow up question? I thought I saw your hand up. Um, it's probably premature. I was just wondering if we should start preparing um, conser water conservation communications for um, the cities and campus. But I guess we can wait until we get into November to think about. We don't we don't typically talk about water conservation actions in Janu De December and January because usually it's nice and rainy. Um, I think Camille. But, I think that's. I think that's a good point. I think when when um, when the the team gets together, and by team probably not the board members, but when we get together toward the end of uh, October here to strategize about the use of the water um, into November December, I think that's a good topic at that point as well. Um, okay. Because I know we have obviously the cities and the UCD has that messaging um, kind of you know already available. It's just a matter of how do we want to roll it out in a in a typical time frame when we don't right. So, sure. Right, exactly. Okay, but yeah, that's a topic we certainly can can talk about at the staff level um, toward the end of the month. Okay. Brett, I saw your hand up. Yeah, sorry, uh, this is just a quick question. Um, I'd be curious uh, if we notice any difference uh, in October's usage with uh, the reduced number of UC Davis students back in town. Just wondering whether that would be kind of a noticeable sort of movement on the chart or whether it's just sort of, you know, not really noticeable. But uh, you know, if you have it today, great. If not, you know, uh, sometime in the future, I'd just be curious. It's a, um, just a idle curiosity. As far as the water use with the students not being back, is that what, what you're Yes, thinking? yeah. I mean, we're sort of anecdotally, we're thinking that half the students are back in town and kind of half are spending well, some large portion in, at their homes. Just from the city's perspective, I mean, our water use has been um, comparable to last year. However, the average daily use that I've seen has been less. Um, I mean, we've been around, uh, you know, last week it was 10 to 11 million gallons a day, which is honestly lower than what we would see in years past. So I think we're seeing an effect, but I don't, yeah, I don't have the correlation or the historical data right on, on hand at this point. So we can provide that though, no doubt. Dan. Um, I'm still just interrupting. Say, I just wanted you know I'm finally on the meeting. Thank you. Yep. I do so we actually, were, Brett. I think that is a really useful thing to to know. 
just period. It's helpful to understand the change. Um, we've been doing some of that math on the campus, and I think it would be interesting to look at it with with a bigger perspective. Okay. Yeah. I'm just. It might help as we sort of think about what our conservation goals need to be if uh, we November is looking like it's going to be a dry month and the last thing we want to do is run out of water. Yeah, that's a great idea, Brett. Tom, did you have anything you wanted to add or questions uh, to ask about this item, which is itself, which is the option agreement with West Sacramento? I'm sorry to say I did not hear the prior discussion, but I've read the. The, uh, information so I support the action great uh, any further questions or comments from uh, from from commissioners I, I just want to say that I really appreciate Stan and Tim and their team being able to once again come up with this agreement which is really low-cost water which uh, you know we really really need during this time window and uh, yeah I, I just you know really appreciate it and uh, you know, I'm optimistic that the board ultimately comes up with the long-term solution, but having these short-term agreements has really been uh, essential. And just, yeah, thank you to Stan and Tim and the team. I appreciate it. Thank you. Great, I agree. Thank you for your work on this. Uh, with that, I'll entertain a motion to approve the item. Uh, I'll make a motion to uh, approve the item two recommendation. Landsberg will second. All right, it was moved by Lee, seconded by Landsberg. Uh, any further uh, discussion on the item? Okay, I'll call for a roll call vote. Uh, I'll start with, uh, with Tom. Uh, how do you uh, vote? I support yes. Uh, uh, Brett? Uh, I vote yes. Rich? Aye. And I vote yes as well, so it's unanimous. Um, Thank you for your work on this. Good. Uh, we did have uh, item three, just a long range calendar. Unless anyone has anything to add, it's it's the general, uh, you know, treasurer's report and GM and ops update scheduled for January. And what's the, uh, um, remind me of the date on that. Uh, well, I'll go to the end of the slide, uh, January 21st. There we go. <laughs> Great. And, and then, uh, you could have, we will have one new uh, board member because Brett is leaving the Davis City Council. Um, Tom and I are both up for re-election. Is that correct, Tom? Yes. So you could have. Do you have an opponent? You have an opponent, right? You could. We could Thank have you. several new board members if. Mm. Uh, uh, so, um, uh, hopefully. I'll just say hopefully this isn't my last meeting here, but uh, if it is, thank you all for all your work uh, and on this very important thing. So you'll be back, Will. <laughs> yeah, I sure hope so. Um, so I do have one thing. Go ahead. Uh, on that long-term calendar, the one that's on the slide says that the January meeting is Woodland, but I believe it's supposed to be Davis when Lynn and I, Lynn Ann and I talked the last in-person meeting was in Woodland. So if it's in person, it will be Davis, not Woodland. Okay. okay. Fair enough. Perfect. Hey, Will? Yes, Tom? Um, I'd like to direct staff to examine the, the, the pathology that made it impossible for me to get into the meeting today. <laughs> it didn't, my iPad, city issued iPad, did not have a code that would access. Interesting. Uh, so I would like, it's the first time it's happened in, in seven or eight months of, of Zoom meeting, so I'm very curious to know why. Okay. Yeah, well, sorry that happened, Tom. Yeah, I am too. We'll look into it. Okay. Yeah, we'll take we'll take a look at it. All right. Is there anything else uh, for the good of the order? Do we ha we don't have any item after, uh, uh no. Oh, any board member comments? Do we have any uh, general comments from the board? Just thank you in case. Those some of you don't make it back. <laughs> right. I'd like to say, say, yeah, thank you to those board members that, that may, may not be back in January. Yeah, and thank you again, Brett, uh, Brett. for all of your yes, service. Thank you, Jim. Uh, thanks. Right. 
so with that, I'll go ahead and adjourn this meeting. Uh, the next meeting, it's up on the board, scheduled for January 21st, 2021. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Will, 2020 is never yeah, ending. It's just never ending. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't do this to us, guys. <laughs> I promise I'll, I'll QAQC the slide a little better next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Well, thank you all. This meeting's adjourned. Okay, thank, thank, you. Right. thank you. Take care, everyone. Stay okay. safe. Bye. Bye. -bye. Michelle, Tim, you want to stay on for a minute? Sure. Stop share and then I'll stop recording. Uh...